Hey y'all, today I'm going to be showing you a super adorable SEL resource. For social emotional learning, let's look at Dash Into Happy. All right, first of all, if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Kayla. I am a homeschool graduate turned homeschool mom and I focus on secular resources and mama life on this channel. So if that appeals to you, I hope you will stick around, click that subscribe button, turn on notifications, connect with me on Instagram, introduce yourself in the comments below, and yeah, all the good things. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a really adorable and beautiful and well thought out resource that could be great for your homeschool, but also this could be valuable for any family, whether you are a homeschool family or not. And that is Dash Into Happy. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna turn the camera around so that I can show you what this resource looks like up close. I do need to put a disclaimer that I was gifted this program in exchange for my honest review through the Melanated Homeschool Review Squad, and I'm very grateful that I was given the opportunity to review this. All opinions are completely my own, and I will have everything linked below in the description box. It's always a good idea to check out the description box. I generally have like a little bio down there where you can get to know more about me and our family. I'll have links, I'll have all the information that you might have questions about, so make sure you check that out as well. So when you buy this set, you will receive a teaching guide that looks like this, and then you will receive a set of books. So all of these are labeled set one, and there are five books in set one. So book one for set one, book two for set two, book three, book four, and book five. You'll also receive a page of really cute stickers that correspond to the characters in the book, a set of bookmarks, one for each book. You'll also receive all of this in this really cute tote bag that is the perfect size to keep all these resources together or could easily be used by your child or something else just for a regular tote bag. So just as an overview of how this program works, each of these books is a retelling of a classic children's book. So we have The Three Bears, which is kind of a new version, a new take on Goldilocks and the Three Bears. There's no Goldilocks in this story, but that gives you an idea. We have The Princesses and the Pea. We have The Three Billy Goats Gruff. We have Little Red Riding Hood, and we have The Gingerbread House. These stories are going to be familiar to you and your children more than likely, but you're going to notice that they have been updated, that they have been changed to suit the purposes of this curriculum. And honestly, that is my favorite part of this program. I just think that they have done a beautiful job of retelling these stories and actually making them relevant and engaging and exciting all over again. So when we go to the teaching guide, you will notice that this whole program is written by Amelia Murdoch and Joan Lands or Landes. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Amelia Murdoch is the creator of all things Dash. So she has a separate curriculum called Dash into Reading that's kind of like a phonics um, curriculum. She has included Joan Landis in the creation of this SEL curriculum because that is Joan Landis' expertise. So we have two really well-qualified creators on this curriculum. This is actually a pretty extensive teaching guide and I really appreciated all the information that was prepared for me in here. They use an analogy throughout this teaching guide comparing children to trees growing from seeds. And that analogy is really helpful at explaining kind of the process of why social emotional learning is important and how to get started with it. They also list for you two main goals 
of SEL in general, but specifically what they had in mind with this program. And the two goals are that we want our children to become more confident in the face of stressors. And second, the primary attachment relationship will become closer, more trusting, and stronger. So all of us want that for our kids. We know that we cannot protect them from every negative emotion, every stressful situation, every tragedy. That's just part of life. So we want our children to feel prepared and confident when they face those feelings or those situations. And we also want them to know who they can turn to for help. So I absolutely love the goals that this curriculum is meeting. We have a little blurb on what social emotional learning is, or SEL. We have uh, a little blurb on emotional intelligence quotient, or EQ. Uh, They also have the same kind of thing for different terms here. So for resilience, attachment, trauma, psychosocial stages of development, and then we have those listed. And this really will help you understand where your kid is at developmentally, and how you can really help them. They have an explanation of why they're using fairy tales to develop resilience and meet those goals, and I really appreciated this explanation. So honestly, I just love the teaching guide. I feel like it's very well done, well researched. Personally, I feel like everything in here really resonated with me and with how I like to approach parenting and you know, dealing with those tough things, with emotions, with behavior. I felt like all the information presented in here was really well researched and explained in a very concise and clear way. And it's a great introduction to the topic. Okay, so now let's look at how the books are laid out. And I'm just going to show you the first one here, but they're all laid out very similarly. When you open each of these books, you will get a pre-story lesson. So this is for you, the parent, to read before you actually read the story with your child. It will go over the lesson goals with you that you're going to be meeting with this book. What I really love about this is that all of the text is color-coded for each of these goals. So as you're going through the story, you will notice some of the text is red, green, blue, purple, right? All of it is color-coded to help remind you to tie back into these goals. It also has a scripted section for you that says before reading. This is an opportunity for you to kind of activate any prior knowledge or just open up that dialogue with your child um, about what you're going to be reading in the story. All of that's super helpful even for a very young child. This is very easy to understand. Then you have a section that says while reading. So this is kind of a little activity for your child to do while you're reading the story. In this case, it's when you hear what a character feels, any feeling or emotion, you can tap your heart or you can hold up a doll. Sometimes I will just have my daughter raise their hand when they notice a feeling in the story. This really helps them to be more active in the reading and to be listening for those points that we are trying to focus on and draw attention to, to meet the lesson goals. After this little spread that kind of helps you get ready to read the story, you jump right into the story. And I will just give you a very quick flip through. The text in these stories is nice and large print. The illustrations are really where Amelia's work shines. She does some absolutely beautiful artwork and illustrations. All of it is in vivid color. And again, we do have that color-coded text throughout the story. At the end of the story, you will have a post-story lesson. So after reading, we have a little list here of some discussion points for you to go over with your child. And then we have a summary section. So all in all, this is just great. I love that the whole lesson is in the one book, right? You don't need to keep referring back to the teacher's guide to know what to say for each book. The teacher's guide is kind of an overview of why we're using this program, how the program works. This is great for you to keep 
to yourself as a parent, but you don't need to necessarily refer to this every time you want to do one of these lessons. The lessons are self-contained in these storybooks. This program is designed for level K through 5. So anywhere in those elementary years, I feel like your kiddo is really going to benefit from these. They are simple, they are easy to use, and honestly, they're a delight to use. My kids love these books. I think most kids love these sort of classic fairy tale stories. That's why they're classics, right? Because they have been beloved by so many. But these specific versions of these stories and the discussions that we're having around them, it's just such a pleasure, honestly. It's been a really good fit for our family, and I'm really happy to add this into our enrichment lineup for our homeschool. We typically do enrichment stuff on Friday, so like music study, art study, the fun stuff, field trips, things like that. I have added these into our Friday enrichment lineup where we will try to read one together each Friday. We go over the lesson. We have the discussion. Currently, I have a kindergartner and a second grader, so they're five and eight, and these feel very appropriate and very useful for both of them. I will go ahead and insert a view of the website. Currently, Amelia has all of her curricula 25% off. She's having a spring sale. So now is a great time to check that out. She does have a really great description of this program, Dash Into Happy, on her website. She also has a couple of options for you, whether you want to go with the kit that I have, that I showed you, or you want to get one of the activity packs that goes along with this program. You can buy them separately or together. The activity packs will add on a little bit more of that hands-on playful learning element. So if your kids really like hands-on learning or play-based learning, that might be a great add-on for you. As I said before, Amelia Murdoch does have other curricula and resources that she has created. She has an entire early reading phonics program. She has a handwriting program, and I believe she also has some resources for grammar. She also sells some really lovely activity packs that you can buy a la carte and some beautiful wooden toys. So definitely go check out her website. All of her things are lovely to look at. Like they're physically, aesthetically beautiful. She's a very talented artist. I have not personally tried any of the other resources or curricula that she's created, but I've heard really good things, and I have friends that use her phonics program and absolutely love it. So it's definitely worth looking into or checking out. All right, y'all, that's it for the video. Don't forget to check out the description box again where I have everything linked, and if you have any questions about this particular curricula, let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to chat with you more about it. I would also love to hear from you. What are you using in your home or in your homeschool to encourage social emotional learning? Do you have favorite books? Do you have favorite workbooks, resources? Let me know because this is kind of new territory for us um, as far as using something more formal for SEL. And I'm really loving it so far, and I kind of feel like maybe we should dive even more into it. Maybe I want to pick up more resources. So I would love to hear your suggestions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Bye! Bye.